So this is just a quick question on uh, inherited conditions. So the figure below shows a man who's had, who has polydactyly. Right, remember polydactyly is when you go and you have extra digits. So the man's mother also had polydactyly, but his father does not. The man is heterozygous. Remember, heterozygous means it has got one of both genes, so dominant and recessive. So explain how the information given above shows that the man is heterozygous polydactyly. Okay, there are a few key things that we can go and talk about. So to start off with, the man has inherited polydactyly from the allele from his mother. The man must have inherited a normal allele from his father because his father didn't have it. So because the father does not have the polydactyly allele or such forth, then the father has got to be homozygous because he doesn't have it. So therefore the genes of DNA are going to be passed on down in the alleles from the mother so he will have at least one of each, right? So that's just a few key things that you can talk about if this sort of uh, question comes up.